okay, what advice do you have for other couples? And like, what makes you work? You know, what makes you work and what could you share with other couples that you think would, would be able to help them? Oh, um, do you want to go on that one first? Or? Um, I think it probably comes back to our families and our upbringings. We were both raised by families who had um, a strong, strong belief in family. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, all of, you know, your family is the center. And so we had very good upbringings with those strong family values. And I think Greg and I share those and we have, we raised six kids and um, certainly lots of ups and downs with that because we were very busy and we were working and money issues, all those things that many families go through. But I think our core values were just all based in, um, in love and family. And that's where your decisions are coming from. And um, I think that is, that's what keeps you together in all the, the good and the rough times because everybody goes through times that are crappy. And mm -hmm. if you have a really strong foundation of love, you're just stubborn enough to ride those mm -hmm. and um, you know that it's worth it and, and you'll come out on top at the end. Right. And now here you are at the end, you've got your, you, your great six great children and you're back to being just Tracy and Greg. Well, that's probably the mushiest thing I've heard Tracy say in a long time. Jessica. And my email when I sent it to you, she does not have a romantic bone in her body. I I demonstrate my romantic bones differently. Like, so I'm, I'm not very mushy, but um, yeah, I'm not mushy from Greg's standards, but I am actually. Yeah. So so my pardon me is Tracy sentimental. Yeah. Oh, Chase is very sentimental. Yeah. Yes. So that's, that's yeah. a way of showing um, your love. Yeah. Yes. But if Greg come up to me with a very serious look and says, you know, I love you more than the world, I'll probably laugh at yeah. him. Yeah. Right. True story. <laughs> but he knows that I love him. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're still together. Yeah. I know. Um, <clears throat> so that's your... a, when you ask, ask those questions, Jane, they get, it gets you thinking because. Um, like we've changed obviously a lot over the years. Like, mm -hmm. So, um, but the core values are probably the common thing. Like we have six children. I didn't know Tracy wanted six children. <laughs> 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 that's, probably, <laughs> that's probably something you should ask your spouse if you're thinking about it, but. Okay, that's, um, a good question. that's good advice. Ask your, ask your spouse how many children they want. Ask your yeah, family. Um, but I've always told people, I said, Tracy loves children. I love my wife. So um, that's, that's where that came from. So uh, we have six children, which, you know, when we got together, it was never talked about, never mentioned. And, um, and now we have this, this wide range of children and grandchildren and stuff. And it's great. Um, but that's something I had to personally grow into. Um, like you said, if it, if it had been thrown at me when I was 21 or 22, I'd have went, oh, wait. <laughs> wait six kids no six yeah. no but um, okay what and well well what what is your advice what are this your core values and i hear that a lot like i mean here that people have this this pillar underneath them and it's their value system so um, other things my, may be different but values stay the same yeah from my standpoint as a as a male and as a husband um and i i've heard this advice before and i kind of i kind of like it and i i uh and I tell to Tracy every once in a while when I see her slipping on it, but um, I think I think your spouse has to be your main focus or your priority. It has to be the trunk, um, mm -hmm. because if you're making the kids the center of your world, or if you're making something else the center of your world, uh, then that trunk's not going to hold the branches. So right, that's pretty mushy too. Yeah. So so um, my advice would be is to, uh, you know make your spouse your priorities, um, and everything else will fall into place. Okay, that's good advice. Yeah, throughout the years, we've tried to, um, it's challenging when you're busy with yep. careers and yeah. children. So we've tried to have date nights and, and make a time for just being a couple. And um, it's certainly we've done better at it sometimes than others. But we realize that that has to be important because if we're not strong as a couple, everything else falls apart. Right. So, um, um, so that's, that's the challenge. If you can stay close then um, whatever comes up um, in life, you can handle it. But if you aren't strong as a couple, then um, then you really can't work. 
And if you're divided, your your children will go after you. Like I mean, <laughs> like, either you united front against them or <laughs> I know, I know. And if you have different opinions, it's you try and discuss that privately. You can't just throw that at each other yeah. in front of the kids. But all challenging stuff, but worth it in the end. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you for sharing your story. 